Hey, what's going on guys? Today is the day that we test George and the bike. We talked about urban to rural survival bug outs. Remember, if you're actually leaving in an urban environment because you're trying to go somewhere more isolated, more desolate, more rural, um, you have to do it with the equipment that you have. So on this bike, we put a 511 tactical bag called the AMP, the All Mission Purpose Bag, with a 72 hour loadout of equipment that George is gonna use on the back of the bike. So his weight plus the bag plus the pannier that it comes with, we're looking at 300 plus pounds. So 86 pound bike, 300 pounds, we're 386 at a minimum. The advertised miles is 40 to 65 miles, depending on obviously a whole bunch of variables. I wanna see actually as a bug out vehicle what it's truly capable of, replicating George bugging out from an urban environment, which is Prescott, Arizona, which is semi-urban, there's streets, there's buildings, and then bugging out to a more rural location and actually going off road. So we got a good balance of about 50% of the ride on road and 50% off road. How do you feel about this? I'm pretty excited. I've never done something like this on an electric bike. You know, as a kid, you take your BMX and you just go all over town. Mm -hmm. But now I'm an adult, so I gotta, you know, have this electric bike, and I'm pretty excited to get out there. So we got your helmet. Go. We're gonna outfit you with knee pads, elbow pads, chest pad, what? back pad, <laughs> and a chin pad. Are you ready for this? I guess. Okay, we're gonna start. So what we're gonna do is in this challenge, we're gonna start here. We have an odometer on the bike. We're gonna track mileage and time, and we'll see how far he goes and how long it takes him to get that far. And uh, I just wish you the best of luck, man. Thank you, sir. Uh, have you done your will? Yeah, it's been done. You've updated your will? Mm -hmm. Your SGLI? <laughs> <laughs> You're taking your, your pick? Yeah. Okay, all right, we're good, we're set. All right, let's do this. All right. Here we are uh, in the, I'll call it mountains or foothills of Northern Arizona. Yep. You bugged out probably about an hour and some change ago. And here we are 13.1 miles later and you're out of power, right? Mm -hmm. How did it feel? Like, give me some impressions, like just power wise and what it felt like. So starting off on the paved roads, I had a, so much, it was a lot of power. Even when I was going up the steep inclines, the pedal assist helped out a lot just to kind of get that extra momentum up there. But once I'm on level ground, easy, downhill, obviously easy. Once we hit the dirt road area, I had to like really watch the handling of it. I felt like around the turns, I was gonna like dump it. So I had to like, you know, throttle brake and all that stuff. And then hitting the bumps, I had to kind of stand up because just the, the shocks. I know you can adjust these right here. It's very uh, hard on the shocks on the, just on the uneven pavement. And then I could tell once I was coming up the hill here, once it was coming out of the power, obviously the, uh, the indicator blinked, but you can tell when it slowed down, it was, you weren't taking, it was just going from 10 miles per hour, seven, six, five, and it just kind of coasted until it stopped. Yeah. So you can tell when, when things run out of battery, it's not like a lithium battery where it goes full speed and it just stops when it's out. It kind of coast in and then dies down yeah, so and it's blinking right now which is an indicator obviously that it's running out of power ran yeah out of power. and i can't even like yeah I, it's, even though it still has power there's no way i'm going to get any momentum i could walk next to it faster so yeah and so we have mile a mild grade in elevation the reality is i guess depending on where you live depending on where you're bugging out from you might be in san fran where you're at sea level and then you have to bug out to foothills or mountains mm -hmm. the sierras for example here in Prescott, the town is at a lower elevation than the surrounding mountains. We're over 7,000 feet right now. Actually, we're at 7,000 feet. And so at 7,000 feet, you got elevation change, the constant power band of going up and down, you know, any density altitude considerations with the battery, uh, the list goes on. But the reality is, is this is the reality. Like George being a bigger dude with his pack needs to be able to bug out. And this isn't a test of optimizing an electric bike. This is a test of, is this bike capable for George to bug out from an urban environment to a rural environment in the environment he lives in, which is Prescott, Arizona. Yep. And so I, I think, you know, at 13.1 miles, that is capability, right? That's, mm -hmm. that's capability where you have the ability on the fly. Like say you're working downtown and you have your bike with you, you could jump on your bike and then head out of town or jump on your bike and head home right. and then be able to bug out uh, further using your mobility platform. 
off-road, I'm not, we're not even going to do an off-road test because we got lots of off-roading here in ruts and then varied terrain on this, on this uh, intermittent trail. But what's your overall impression for off-road driving? I think it's good for what it's built out to be. Like yeah. you're not going to, I'm not going to take this off a trail or, you know, if I have to bug out like a very like technical trail, something like this, I, it's easy. I can, I can manage it. The little ruts and everything like that, it's e e like very manageable. So I think it's good for like a, a road like this. But it might be a little different with Yeah, if I'm like in the woods. You probably get a different result. I mean, there's different, there's so many variables that are involved. One of those is pedal assist. Like when you pedal assist, you're actually assisting the power hub, which is allowing you to get more out of the efficiency of the bike. And so if you pedal a lot, yes, you're gonna get more. But I, I don't care about that. 13.1 miles is what we were able to get mm -hmm. based on you bugging out, minimal training, jumping on the bike, headed for the hills. Cool, man. I think this is a good test, good oh, yeah. evaluation. Um, now it's time for you to pedal it back because we yeah. don't have a ride for you. That's fine. Congratulations. <laughs> that's your that's your prize. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's recap. So we got the Scrambler S. This is made by VintageElectricBikes.com, uh, and we wanted to test it out and see its realistic functionality in a bug-out situation. So what we did is we had George do a couple tests. One of the tests, the first test, was the speed test. We actually accomplished that and did it actually did really well. Yes, it did. How many miles per hour were you able to get up to? I think I got up to 34 at yeah, one point. Yeah, 34.2 or yeah. something like that. And um, with that much weight, I mean, George is uh, a big dude. With his kit, 72-hour bug-out bag and this 511 tactical sack, um, we're talking about 300 pounds added to this 86-pound bike. It's kind of like the... Uh, gorilla on the circus bike yes very much or so. every stereotype that you can get with a oh, big yeah. thing mm -hmm. on a small thing how far can this actually go as compared to the advertised distance and so i think advertised was a minimum of 40 miles yeah. well i will say this about this bike we did gain a thousand foot of elevation did i say foot i mean feet, feet. of elevation and gaining that much elevation obviously it's going to, on a bicycle, especially with an electric a hub and battery, it's not going to be super efficient. We were able to get 13.1 total miles out of this, and that's bugging out from an urban environment, which is Prescott, downtown Prescott, all the way up into the uh, foothills and mountains surrounding northern Arizona in, in this area. So I think overall it did well. What do you, what do you think uh, overall as a bug out bike? I think as a bug out bike overall it did, did very good for me. Uh, going from the, the pavement to the off-road, the unimproved road, uh, it handled well. Just when I hit those ruts, I could, it was really jarring with the front yeah. uh, you know, shocks. I think you could either they were adjustable. I should have adjusted them, but I didn't. The way the turns were, it's really not a, a mountain bike per se. So I had to really uh, slow down around the turns, be careful, maybe put my foot out a couple of times just to brace myself. But other than that, I mean, it got up the hills really well. On the steeper elevation, I did have to use a pedal assist, which I didn't have to disperse much energy i s was able to sit down and just pedal and it got me right up the hill so all in all i mean i think it's a it's a valuable option for our bug out bike yeah i would say that this is a good option for like an urban scenario uh, especially if you're on flat terrain it wouldn't be my number one option for bugging out to a flat urban situation to a rural off-road situation uh, i just don't think it has what it takes to handle the off-road but it's not designed for that right it's designed for other things, not necessarily this test. Uh, as a bug out platform, I think electric bikes have their place. I think it's just a matter of time before the technology catches mm -hmm. up. And then we're seeing these bikes, which retail is for a minimum of $7,000, a little bit more affordable for normal people. And also with more capability as the technology increases and gets better and better and better. So yeah, I think overall, super pumped to be part of this project. And uh, we look forward to testing more equipment with you guys in survival and preparedness. Everything is open and on the table. If you guys have any recommendations, leave comments in the feedback section down here. Don't Those guys who leave those thumbs down, there's like eight of them. I'm going to find you guys, man. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that one. I almost left a thumbs down this morning because I was like, man, you know what? I'm just going to give a thumbs down. There's so many thumbs ups. I'm going to leave a thumbs down just to be just different. Just even it out a Is little that bit. you? No, I would never leave a thumbs down. You're leaving, you're making fake um, accounts, no, giving us I'm thumbs I'm sharing downs. it, I'm, I'm promoting it. Okay, we'll see. Now everybody's gonna get a thumbs down just to mess with us. <laughs> uh, if you like what you see, uh, and I don't mean me and George handsome bodies, 
But I mean, if you like what you see in the content, please subscribe, tell your buddies, tell your buddies' wives uh, with their permission. Uh, tell everybody that you know and make sure that you subscribe and follow everything that we're doing. Until next time, stay alert. <laughs> stay alive. <laughs> Later, guys.